Okay, Chris, I'm going to show you a little bit of how to rebuild a Vortex high-performance V8 engine. Basically, you just take it all apart. And, uh, see the heads all took apart. These are the, the valve uh, seals. Right there. That little like a rubber band kind of um, spring on it. They all have to be replaced. So you get a whole package. Um, they give you new seals, new gaskets. And um, basically what you want to do is uh, here's the head, as you can see. I cleaned out all the cylinder areas. This was all corroded. This is all corroded, so I had to use a belt sander, surface sander, block sander, or I could have just sent it out for 150 bucks. They would have probably um, used the lathe to what they call deck it. If we do the deck, that's not actually a crack right there. That is a, uh, oh, better not be a crack. Hang on a sec. Oh no, that's some, some shit that got on there. So you gotta check it for cracks. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna lap my valves. So right now the valves are looking like this. There's one I did. Here's another one. I just stick it in a drill bit with a little little rubber hose over it so it doesn't damage it. And I just spin it, kind of like that. I'll show you. And here we go. Stick. So you just take a, I use a little piece of foam with the sandpaper on it, and I'm just going to put it on there, this side. It takes a couple minutes to do one. You know, more than that. You just want to get everything that has corrosion on it. Or you can buy new ones. They're usually $10 each. Uh, that would be 10 times 16. $160. For eight. But... I did this last time on my other boat, and uh, it um, lasted a long time. It's basically what happens is, is you get pitting inside of these valve seats. These it seats is like a 45 degree where this valve goes down, and you can see it's like a 45 degree, you know. And you want to meet this surface with that surface. I pushed it all the way through. And I put the drill bit on the other drill motor on the other side. And I got this compound that I put inside of there. And then I suck the valve in, and I don't pull it real tightly, but I spin it. And what it does is it creates a surface where you can almost see the pitting on this edge right here. All that's going to go away as soon as I start using the compound. Now, if it gets too hard, what I end up doing is I take a piece of emery cloth, and poke a hole through it like this. And I take this valve and put it right through there and then use the emery cloth to, you know, basically resurface the seat. So anyways, um, this is going to help a lot. It's going to give me more compression because I took it down a little bit um, because of the, you know, corrosion and stuff like that. So once I took it down, that actually makes more compression because it makes the cylinder shorter. And you can't take it down too much. You got until where this spark plug meets right here. It's another sixteenth of an inch. You could take this head down that way. So I had to redo the intake manifold. Had to use some epoxy right here. I used epoxy because it was corroded. So I stuck a piece of foam inside of there. Put some epoxy around it. And then let it sit overnight. And then I just took a sander and I just went right over it. And so it's totally flat. And it's, um, this is only a vacuum area for the, uh, the water jacket. The water jacket is one jacket that goes throughout the whole head, through all these openings. And through these little ones, these were all clogged. I had to unclog them with a, with a uh, special tip that I had. And I had to hit it with a hammer and loosen those up. You can see the little teeny holes kind of, well... They're inside of there. This is supposed to circulate water. If there's only one hole that won't work. It has to have two. One in, one out. So, um, basically, the water circulates throughout the head. It keeps your head from uh, warping. It keeps it, the 
the uh, gaskets from leaking. You want to check your edges all the way around to make sure that you have enough meat on there to be able to support another gasket. If you don't, then you just have to buy another head, which is only a couple hundred dollars because it's American-made cast iron. All right, well, I hope I can uh, send you this. Talk to you later.